And we are following some breaking news for you tonight after dead dogs found inside of a Dayton home. Robert Lowry is live. Well, at this moment, Montgomery County Animal Resource Center is still trying to find out how many dogs were living inside this home. I'm here at the 2300 block of Catalpa Drive. As you can see behind me, they have just pulled out another dog. That is the eighth dog that we've seen pulled out of this home since we've been here, since crews have been here. And crews are still going through the home on the left side of this duplex. I was told some of the rooms were inaccessible until some of the dead dogs were removed. Now, it all started after an anonymous complaint brought animal rescue to the scene. This is following past complaints at this same property. I was told by neighbors that a couple lives inside this home. Shockingly, a young child, one or two years old, also lives inside here. Now, animal rescue crews came by the home, greeted by flies and a terrible odor. That is when they got a search warrant. Now neighbors are telling us they're happy something is finally being done. That was so bad because it didn't have to come to that because we've been calling and the postal service has been calling um, all of the neighbors because you can smell it from I mean this whole street just smells. There's quite a number of live dogs here this afternoon. That's what we're here for. You know, we may have been too late for some of these, but we won't be too late for the others. Get them the help and the attention that they need. Now, since we've been here, as I mentioned before, eight live dogs have come out of the home. At least three of those puppies are only weeks old is what we're told and all of them are Great Danes and also it's not just Great Danes, it's not just dogs coming out of this home. We were told that there are chickens inside the home, rabbits. We even saw a rabbit coming out of the home just a little bit ago. Now we'll continue working for you getting more details on the story as more develops and we're told the couple who lives inside this home also was not here when animal rescue crews arrived. Reporting live in Dayton, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.